Today's video covers Wadiya concept within Islamic economy and Islamic financial institutions. We have made various informative videos about Islam concepts in Islamic banking, and we would like to have your input for upcoming videos. Leave a comment or email us a topic of your choice within Islamic banking and finance, and we will prepare a video covering most re recommended topic. Wadiya. The term Wadiya is derived from the term Wada, which means to leave, lodge, or deposit. Wadiya in legal sense signify, signifies a thing entrusted to the care of another. The concept of Wadiya is not specifically mentioned in Quran. However, as far as safekeeping, which is closely ready to trust, is concerned, there are some indications on this concept, which can be observed in Quranic verse. Terms are parties to the Wadiya contract. Depositor, custodian. The depositor is the proprietor of the asset known as Muadi or depositor, while custodian is the person entrusted with its known as Wadi or Mustawadi custodian. Wadiya is the deposited asset, which is the base of this contract. Important principles of Wadiya covers offers and acceptance, the contracting parties, of course, and the asset. Offers and acceptance, Wadiya is not valid until there is mutual consent between the relevant contracting parties. This mutual consent is expressed by an offer and acceptance. The contracting party, it is required that relevant parties must be persons who have legal capacity. And of course, the item of deposit must be a valuable property in Islamic law. Therefore, items such as dead animal, pork, etc., are forbidden and cannot be part of what they are. The item deposited must also be a form of property that can be possessed physically. All these concepts have an inherent condition or principle that all the transactions, their asset, their use are all in compliance with Sharia law. Conditions of Wadiya. It is not permitted to utilize the deposited, deposited amount are deposited asset without the prior consent of the depositor. It is not permitted to travel with the deposit unless all the necessary measure to safeguard the deposited item are taken. Custodian is not permitted to entrust the deposit to a third party or mix it with other properties unless there is a valid reason and in situation where the custodian can easily identify and separate the mixed property from his own or from other properties. Structure of Wadiya is pretty simple. If there is a depositor who has an asset and let's say it's a building and he wants to travel or he doesn't have the necessary uh, skills to run the uh, building, he will find a custodian and they will enter into a Wadiya contract. Based on this contract, depositor will hand over the asset to custodian and at the end of the contract, the custodian will hand over the asset back to the depositor. Typical and most used example of Wadiya contract is current account. There are debates on various trust accounts that are also uh, fall under Wadiya, but the most used application in the modern financial system Islamic financial system is the current account. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please email us, leave a comment, like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you very much.